Allah is from the Arabic language. Allah means the one who deserves all worship, the only one to be worshipped. Whoever submits to Islam will attain peace, meaning paradise. Also internal peace in the present earthly life, inside earth. Less chaos, less distractions, and of course, protection from the devil, shaitan, and so forth. Whoever submits to Islam will attain peace, meaning paradise, also applying Islam in your life, your life will be better, as you will avoid alcohol, you will avoid drugs, you will avoid gambling, you will avoid porn, you will avoid paying for sex, you will avoid promiscuity and so forth. You will respect your parents and respect others around you, fear Allah. Fearing Allah is good. We all should fear Allah because the Creator Allah firstly deserves all worship and secondly we should fear Allah because we have free will we have been given free will and and we will commit sins and that's why we should fear Allah and also fear the fire of Jahannam fear the creator Allah the one who created you Worship the Creator because the Creator owns you and me also because worshipping the Creator Allah is our main job. Worshipping the Creator Allah as a Muslim because Islam is the truth from the Creator Allah and Islam makes sense. YOLO, you only live once, is incorrect and illogical. Don't forget, the real you is your soul, and the soul is created by the Creator Allah, to live forever. That's why you don't want to mess up. Life is permanent, lack of Knowledge leads people to make things up, in other words, speculate, guess. Lack of learning leads us to believe in foolish and naive men, such as Lawrence Krauss, Richard Dawkins, Charles Darwin, Stephen Hawkins, and the likes of them. YOLO, you only live once, is incorrect and illogical. We have free will and positive and negative nature. We have been created this way with dual nature and free will so we can be tested by the Creator Allah. Also, you see, regarding the free will, the Creator Allah wants to see who genuinely chooses to be Muslim and genuinely loves Allah and worships Allah by remembering Allah, doing zikr, subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, uh, keeping fasts in Ramadan, uh, reading namaz, uh, going to Hajj, giving charity. And this is one of the reasons of the free will. Also, don't forget, free will is part of the earthly examination. And don't forget, life is permanent because the real you is your soul, not your earthly body. And yet, yeah, the soul is real because healthy people with healthy organs experience death all the time, regardless of age. They shouldn't, but they do. This proves the soul is real. And free will is real because, example, you want to buy some trainers, you're going to go to the shop, and you will choose which trainer you want to buy. Or if you want to buy a jumper, for example, you will go to the shop or online and you will choose which color jumper 
what type of jumper you want to buy. And this is, you know, choices. Free will is real. You know, you probably you go to a restaurant and you choose what, what you want to eat. Chicken biryani or lamb chops, etc. So there you go. Free will is real as well. Um, the Creator, Allah, chose to create us with a soul, Ruh, programmed with free will in order to see how many of us choose Allah, choose Islam, therefore to experience genuine love and happiness. The reason for the free will is for the Creator Allah to experience genuine gratitude from us, therefore we choose to be Muslim and worship Allah as a Muslim. Why Islam? Read the book, so they read the Quran, uh, English translation by M. A. S. Abdul Halim. Read the book Divine Reality by Hamza and Zotsis. Watch the YouTube video of Yusuf Esther's story of Yusuf Esther's From Darkness to Light. Also, How the Bible Led Me to Islam, Yusha Evans. And also, there are